But we've had that first freeze. Now, can you imagine getting the first snowfall today? Not a fan there. Definitely don't want that yet. Well, over 100 years ago, that is exactly what happened. Meteorologist Natalie Nunn is here to give us a little history lesson. And Natalie, was that here? It was on this date in 1898 that Springfield and much of the area saw the earliest snowfall on record. Springfield received one inch of snow, although it could have been more because temperatures were right at that freezing mark and mixed with rain for much of the day. Now, to put it in perspective, the average first snowfall for Springfield is on December 5th. So that was really, really early. Now, clearly, I don't have any pictures from this day in history, and it isn't because I didn't try. But I do have uh, newspaper clippings that I wanted to show you. The leader Democrat start the paper saying, quote, it's all a mistake. This weather, it's out of place and out of date. Nobody was ready for it. I like that. Might be my favorite start to a news story ever. Reports from all over the Midwest and into the Deep South tell of a strong cold front with whipping winds. The snow fell on trees with heavy leaves and downed trees created a significant amount of damage, knocking telegraph lines down for days. The headlines from the Springfield Republic and claimed that Kansas City almost isolated. Hundreds of telegraph poles were blown down and soldiers unprepared. There were claims of the Kansas City area receiving nearly five inches of mid-October snow on this day. Now I have more details on this freak snowstorm as well as some additional newspaper clippings. You can head to OzarksFirst.com for more information, Angela. All right.